A five-year-old is recovering tonight in a hospital bed after getting shot in the back last night. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Ashley Katz. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Bob Clawson. The shooting happened on Warren Drive in Southwest Little Rock. Police say the little girl was sitting in the back seat of her mother's car when she was shot. Our Haley Brooks was at the scene last night. She joins us now with more. Haley. I spoke with the mother earlier today on the phone. She says the little girl is doing okay and hopefully will be released by tomorrow afternoon. Thursday night in Southwest Little Rock, police say a mother and her two children were driving out of an apartment complex when someone started shooting at the car. A report from police, the mother said her daughter started complaining of back pain as she was driving to their grandmother's house. Little Rock police say the mother realized the girl had been shot when they got out of the car. At that time, the five-year-old was taken to the hospital in serious condition, according to police. Today, the mother says the five-year-old is doing okay and is expected to be released this weekend. LRPD says the shooter is still at large. You know, my first reaction to this is, where are we? Where is our community? It's horrible that this has taken place again. I sat down with Robert Holt who helped start our initiative Victory Over Violence campaign two years ago after two toddlers were shot and killed in the capital city. I think it's great that people are saying prayers, 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 but there's a next step after you pray. Do something. In Little Rock, I'm Haley Brooks. It was around this time nearly three years ago when a three year old was shot and killed in the back of his grandmother's car. Gary Holmes is now serving 50 years in prison in connection to that fatal shooting of Asen King in December of 2016. And a month before that, two year old Ramiah Reed was shot and killed while riding in a car with her family. Larry Jackson Jr. is serving 20 years in connection to the crime there. Deshaun Rushing serving 30 years. The children's death sparking calls for change and putting an end to the violence all across the city and the state. And these senseless acts also prompted the creation of KRK and Fox 16's Victory Over Violence campaign. It's a mission that is there to claim victory and put an end to violence in our communities. And we have a lot of different ways for you to get involved on our website, krk.com. Find out exactly how you can be a part of the solution. All you have to do is look for Victory Over Violence under the News tab.